Hi and welcome to another one of my instructional videos for playing country blues guitar. And today I'm going to show you one of my favorite instrumentals by the great Lightning Hopkins. This is a fairly simple piece that will acquaint you with many of Lightning's signature licks and his basic style. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Lightning Hopkins and his style, I'll start you off with a little just basics with the monotonic bass. Then I'll break down the song. It's called Annie's Boogie. And it's a, it's a great tune. Pretty simple to play. And let's get started. Basic parts of the song as far as chords. You need to know some, some chords here as we get going. First of all, you need to know an E chord. Lightning Hopkins, like a lot of other country bluesmen, would not play a straight E chord. Instead of playing that first position E, like we're all taught to play it, he would play it with two fingers. And basically what he's doing, first finger is still on the first fret of the third string. Then a second finger is getting both the fourth and fifth strings. That gives you an E chord, and what that does is freeze your, your other fingers up to do some stuff, which I'll show you here in just a minute. So there's your E chord. Then an A seventh chord, which most of you are probably familiar with. First finger on the second fret, holding down those, those first four strings, and your ring finger is getting the third fret of the first string. And then Lightning also uses a B seventh chord more of a B7th shape, which is, but oftentimes he'll play it without the pinky. So what I'm doing here, I've got my first finger, first finger is on the first fret of the fourth string, got my second finger, which is on the B note at the second fret of the fifth string, and then my ring finger is on the second fret of the third string. If you want to, you can put the pinky down on the second fret of the first string and get the full B seventh shape. Now the, the entire tune is based on, on those three chords, and if you could play those three chords, you're well on your way. Now mo the monotonic bass is what makes Lightning Hopkins's music interesting. And basically with each chord, you're just going to be hammering repeatedly on one bass note. With the E chord, you're going to hit the open E. Open E. And I'm going to dampen it with my right hand palm. I'm going to set it very gently on the string down at the bottom so I get this kind of sound. So I'm just continuously beating on that. If you haven't done this style before, you might just practice with each of the three chords, seeing if you can keep the melody going once we get into the song. The A7 chord, you're going to hit the open 5th string, or my A string. See how that works? And then the B7 chord, I've got my B7 shape, and then my second finger is on the B note, so there's my monotonic Bass. I'm just going to hammer on that fifth string again. Just like that. So everything you're playing here pretty much is playing with the bass going behind it, which is the trick of the style, playing the monotonic bass. So I'm going to take you through the tune. I'll play each verse for you. If you want to hear the original tune, it's called Annie's Boogie. It's available on a Lightning Hopkins CD called Lightning. And, but I'll play you each part of it before I teach it, just so you, you know, and you can put it all together and get the whole thing. Opening part, we're playing in the key of E, and let me just play it for you one time. the opening. Now the opening part, I'm just hitting an E chord. What I'm doing with my first finger, and the picks on my, on my first finger, I'm just hitting those two open strings. The first and second string are open, and then I'm dropping my ring finger up and down on the second fret of the second string, the B string. while I'm hammering on the 
bass. And then I'm doing a little single string run. And the whole time, keeping the bass going. So I'm going open B string, second fret of the B string. Open again, third fret of the B string, second fret, open, then I'm getting the second fret of the third string, open, first fret. So we play the whole thing. So that's really the beginning. Then he goes to the A chord. And what I'm doing with the A7th is I'm just bouncing my ring finger and my second finger back and forth between the second and third frets. Actually between the third and the second fret while hammering on the open fifth string. Just practice that over and over again. Back to the main verse. And then the B7. And then what I'm playing is a. And I'm playing that while, while hitting the bass. So I go to the B7. Actually, I'm on the A. I'm playing this. And back to the E. So what I'm playing that little lick is from the third and second frets. So third fret of the first string. And I'll do a little hammer on pull off on the second fret of the first string. To the second fret of the second string or B string. And then open first string. But the whole time I'm hammering. Playing that leg, I'm hitting the open A string. And back to the E. And then the turnaround, I'm sliding down. That's a very familiar position for country blues, especially Lightning Hopkins playing. I'm using my first finger, which is going to wind up. It's going to wind up on the third fret of the second string, and my second finger is going to end up on the fourth string of the fourth fret of the third string. slide into it from the second and third frets. And that's... You've heard that before. And then, open B string. And then second fret of the third string, or G string. Put my hammer down on the first fret of the third string. And then open E string. So let me play the whole thing for you from the B7. Whoops. And that's the lick. We wind up with the B7 chord. Notice the B7 chord, I'm hitting mainly the first or the top four string. I'm not hitting that. E string, although you can. So let me play that whole turnaround again from the B from the B seventh chord. And that's probably the hardest part of the song, right there. If you can work on 